We went from this to this in less than five minutes using a new update in Capture One. Capture One has a new update and this makes life so easy for photographers and retouchers. This update will help a lot of photographers and retouchers who don't want to spend so much time behind the computer doing retouching. It uses AI, so it makes retouching so much easier. Now let's take a look at this new feature. Over here, we have the retouch panel here. Now let's take it off since when you come by default, this won't be here. So if you come here, you don't see your retouch tab here. Just click on these three dots and then go to add tab and then you see retouch. So once you click on it, it brings this um, tab over here. So here we have a couple of um, sliders here. Our image here is in its raw state. I haven't raw processed it. This is straight out of camera. So we'll go ahead and test this tool and see if it's good for us. By default, the impact is on 100, which means whatever values you give to the sliders, you're going to have it at 100%. You can always reduce this later as required. It's just like um, the opacity slider. After applying everything to your layer, if you want to reduce the opacity to reduce the intensity or you want to maintain it like that. So first of all, there is this thing here that says show detected faces. So this will show you the face that the AI has detected. If there are multiple faces, it will detect them and then put them up right here. So here we see only one face because we have only one face on this um, image. So let's uh, disable that since we already know the face that has been detected. Now we have blemishes and then dark circles. You know what blemishes are, right? And then the dark circles are explained. So here, if we drag this all the way up here, you're going to have it at 100%. So let's uh, zoom in to 50% first. Good. So now we see, or let's just go 100%. We see the blemishes. So if we are going to do blemish remover by hand you're going to take care of these blemishes here this i think is a beauty spot so i may just um, leave it now if you come here and then look at all these these are blemishes we want to take away and then also if you look under the eye here there is this um, dark part that i would want to take away so now let's go ahead and then put, take blemishes to 100 percent and see with just that slider we have taken away all the blemishes at one go look at this let's go to before and after so this is before and this is after isn't this amazing guys before and after just one slider and all blemishes have been taken care of so let's disable this before and after and then now let's go to the dark circles now pay close attention to this um, dark place here if we slide this all the way up you see what happens let's look at before and after just focus here see before and after so the dark circles takes care of the bats under here the dark spots under the eyes here now this goes further it doesn't just take away blemishes and uh, dark circles it does something much more powerful so let's look at it here under even skin this tool takes care of skin tone correction so let's look at it this way. Uh, let's disable this. Now let's go to even skin. Let's say about 100%. So if you look at before and after, you see it tries to blend in the skin tones seamlessly. So you see before and after. Let's go in a bit 50%. So you see before and after. Aside taking away the blemishes and the bags under the eyes. It has blended the skin tone easily for us. Now let's go a step further. There is something here called contouring. Contouring is basically dodge and burn. Not macro dodge and burn, but this is global dodge and burn. So it gives, it contours the face for you. Now let's take it all the way up. Let's just try to see. If you look at it before and after, this is of course way too much. So you can always step it down to a desired uh, result so somewhere like this feels okay so we leave it like that now let's say before and after we have the contour now there is more to this if we come closer and then we take a look at the texture this either subtracts texture which means it makes your image smoother or it adds texture to it let's say if uh, you lost some details whilst doing all these things you can use this slider to 
add more details or if you have too much detail you can use the same slider to reduce it so let's see before and after of course this is too much for us so let's say we keep it at um, by default it's at zero so we can keep it there or if you like details you can go 15 percent yeah so this adds uh, more to it now let's look at this image fully before and after so this is before this is after we can get very up close before after this is seamless and this is awesome because it takes away most of the time we're going to spend to do the retouching manually now this can do it for you within seconds i would most likely use this for event photos you know like weddings or birthday parties where you need to do some quick retouches before you deliver the images to your client take note that this works only on faces now let's uh, look at it from the skin perspective if you look at the chest area here if you go to before and after you see there is no difference before and after before after it did not affect this area because as the name suggests it is retouch faces so it works only on faces that's kind of uh, disappointing because i'm sure most people would want this to affect the whole skin i'm sure in the subsequent um, updates this will be taken care of also there is one thing i noticed if you look at before here this is a beauty mark so i wouldn't want to get rid of this but you know because of the aggressiveness of this tool it has taken out that beauty mark now there's no way here i'll be able to exclude that area so maybe in the next update if there can be an eraser tool or a mask or unmask tool which you can use to um, exclude a particular area i haven't uh, really gone in to see if there's something like that but basically looking at it here that doesn't seem to exist so probably if in the next update it can be added so you can erase some parts of the image where you don't want that effect to take place i have reviewed and tried other ai retouching products is this particular update in capture one something i would want to use um i'll say yes i would like to use this in mostly event photos this won't work for let's say a full high-end retouch no this will not be enough for me but it's a stepping stone this is a step in the right direction especially for those who wants to achieve that um, high-end retouch within the shortest possible time this is okay but for someone like me as a, a full-time retoucher this is okay for events but i would want to have more control over the retouch process plus as i said this is for just face if it was not just for face and included other body parts fine i would have loved to use it but with just face uh, i don't know how how uh, retouch face and then leave the other parts of the body especially when it comes to skin tone correction and then uh, blemish remover um, if capture one is only taking care of the face and then i have to do the other parts in photoshop that's like um it's going to make my workflow a bit um, tedious so as i said hopefully in the next updates we are going to have it affecting other parts of the skin but all in all this is a massive update and i love it